caves are often places where some strange things go down and where humans used to dwell to protect themselves from dangerous predators on the outside. They were often painted with mysterious symbols, and the artifacts left inside often tell a mysterious story. From the first ever brewery located in Israel to the mummified remains of extinct animals, here are the weirdest discoveries made in caves. But first, we'd like to give a quick shout out to Sweet Dr. Plastic for getting the right answer on our trivia from our Most Extreme Machines You Need to See video. Remember to keep an eye out for our trivia question today, and we'll give you a shout out. Number 12. Bell Witch Cave, Tennessee This cave, located in Tennessee near Nashville, is rumored to be one of the most haunted caves in the U.S. It only goes in about 490 feet deep, but that seems to be just enough for a witch to live here. The cave was often associated with the Bell Witch, which allegedly tormented the Bell family in the early 1800s. People from all across the country would come to the Bell family home and to the cave to witness the bizarre activity going on. One report claims that a young child ran into the cave, got stuck, and they heard a mysterious voice within the cave saying, I'll get him out. You never know when you might discover a ghost. Number 11. Vilcabamba Cave Discoveries With so many brutal human sacrifices committed by the ancient Incas, you have to imagine that there could be a few necropolises that house the bodies offered to the gods. Human remains were found in a cave in Peru who were believed to be of children's sacrifices to the gods during times of extreme weather. Things like droughts might have caused some cultures to lose their minds, doing anything they can in order to save the crops. A team of Spanish explorers stumbled upon a religious complex in the Vilcabamba Mountains, located near the Peruvian city of Cusco. This complex system of caves contained a gruesome necropolis of children who were forced to give up their life in order to appease the gods. Many of them were selected carefully from good families, sedated with cocoa leaves, and froze to death in extreme temperatures. Number 10. Bison Cattle Hybrid After analyzing some bones and some artwork found in the Marsolas Caves in Garonne, France, scientists were able to determine the existence of a creature that no one really knew existed. The previous unknown species, both a cattle and a bison, was brought to light after a new study which analyzed the genomes of 64 bison. It concluded the interbreeding of the extinct steppe bison and the modern-day cattle 120,000 years ago. This led them to believe that this was the origins of the European bison we know of today. It turned out to be more common in tundra-like weather and could have been depicted in cave art like we see in this photo. Most of the small population of wild bison tend to live in Eastern Europe where their thick coats come in handy for wintertime. They typically have shorter horns and smaller humps than bison who weren't affected by reproduction with cattle. Number 9. 13,000 Year Old Brewery Possibly the oldest brewery in the world was discovered in Israel and physical evidence concluded the extensive knowledge of brewing techniques by nomadic people. It was found in the Rockefeller Cave in the Carmel Mountains in September of 2018 and it's believed they understood how to bake bread as well. Their archaeological team found various grains which are commonly used for brewing beer such as barley, wheat, oats, and legumes. Some are even beginning to believe that one of the reasons for beginning agriculture was to brew beer and food was just secondary. The ancient people known as the Natufians are likely the ones responsible and it showed how beer played a vital component in everyday life. It was used for various rituals, during feasts, and for social gatherings, kind of like how it's used in modern times. Number 8. Ancient Escargot Who were the first to find snails on the ground and think, hey, there's my lunch? Many would argue that escargot is specifically a French delicacy, but it turns out that the cavemen in Spain were indulging in this gourmet cuisine at least 10,000 years ago. Hundreds of bird snail shells were found in the caves alongside a cliff in Spain. These were found just outside the city of Benidorm in what they believe were ancient fireplaces. The snails could have served as a part of a protein-rich diet that fueled our ancient ancestors. These little mollusks, for the most part, are extremely healthy, rich in polyunsaturated fats, zinc, iron, calcium, copper, and other vitamins. Eating escargot might make cavemen just a tad bit more sophisticated than we once thought. Number 7. The First Use of Fire Evidence of charred bones were found in Cueva Negra, located east of Murcia, in June of 2016. This possibly indicates the first controlled use of fire by cavemen over 800,000 years ago. Pieces of charred rock and the bones from their meal are evidence that man has had control of fire for cooking purposes. The analysis indicated that temperatures were capable of reaching 400 to 600 degrees Celsius. 
Cueva Negra has been a popular location for archaeologists for numerous years, and they were able to find bones of Neanderthals as well as the remains of tools and animals that were hunted for food. More discoveries about our ancient ancestors are out there to be discovered. Number 6. The Hades Bug Scientists found a rare species of centipede in western Croatia in 2015. These were found 3,600 feet below the surface of Earth in what's known as the Velabit mountain range. This certainly isn't your average centipede, and it has extremely powerful jaws, poison glands, and it's been given the nickname of the Hades centipede after the Greek god of the underworld. This is one of only a few creatures that will spend its entire life underground and has absolutely no need for sunlight to survive. The Hades centipede is thought to be one of the top predators deep below the surface of the Earth. Number 5. Mount Owen Moa Moas were extremely giant ostriches that only existed in New Zealand and are now extinct. This flightless bird went extinct from overhunting and were at one point the largest bird to walk on the planet. A mummified claw of a moa within a cave was discovered by paleontologists who often find bones of moas in this cave, but this was like something else. They couldn't believe how well preserved the claw was. One cave system known as the Graveyard of Honeycomb Hill is believed to carry many remains of the ancient flightless bird, but of course, no claws like this exist. One cave system known as the Graveyard of Honeycomb Hill is believed to carry many remains of ancient flightless birds, but of course, no claws existed like this. It was extremely baffling to see the tissue and the foot of an extinct creature. It was developed in the 1980s by a group of archaeologists who sift through old caves. The remains were sent to a museum in New Zealand for further research and are on display. It was analyzed to be over 3,300 years old, but just extremely well mummified. What animal would you like to see clone? Let us know in the comment section. Number 4. Entombed Animal Fossils Similar to amber fossils, some animals are just in the wrong place at the wrong time, but this still fossilizes them for eternity. There's a mysterious phenomenon out there known as animal entombing, where animals or fossils are discovered after being entirely enclosed in coal, wood, or rock. This photo here shows a fossilized toad that's on display, which is thought to have been found in a flint quarry in the 1900s. It's almost like some animals are spawning in caves or are crawling through tiny crevices and getting stuck. In any case, fossils seem to happen this way too. Despite dismissal of any scientific evidence to back up how this could be possible, many claim to have witnessed it. It just goes to show you that life could be anywhere. Number 3. Mummified Sloth Dung A giant extinct sloth once existed inside caves in Utah, and it turns out he used this cave as a toilet whenever Judy called. Analyzing this mummified dung can give researchers an insight on what he was eating 11,000 years ago. A chemical analysis showed that it often feasts on a shrub known as Desert Glow Mallow, which is often nicknamed Mormon Tea. Modern day sloths don't regulate temperature very well, and finding this dung inside a cave also proves to them that they began to find shelter in caves in order to keep them warm. This gives them a good idea of what plants were growing in present day Utah as well as the climate. Number 2. Squash Mountain Lion In northern Russia, the cold weather preserved the bodies of two cave lions, and one is almost in perfect condition. The two specimens were likely only alive for about a week before they were crushed by an extensive cave collapse. The unique conditions of the collapsed sediment turned into permafrost, remarkably preserving them, making this quite unbelievable. One of them just sort of looks like a stone, and it's hard to tell what it is. He must have been more affected by the collapse but the other one you can still see facial features, eyelids, nose, and even its fur. Number 1. The Dolce Base Aliens It's one of those stories that you either believe or you don't. The person telling it is so convinced that it's at least worth a listen. According to eyewitness testimony, aliens were found underground deep within a cave. A man named Phil Snyder worked as a government geologist who was responsible for building a tunnel deep into the New Mexico desert near the town of Dolce, New Mexico. A human observer was needed to explore the cave and lower down with a cable to see if there was alien life. He claimed to have seen a gray alien who smelled really bad, almost like the worst garbage you can imagine. He shot the alien, but in the process, he received a hit from a blue beam which burned his toenails off. It's believed that 66 men lost their lives in this underground battle. Many mysterious things seem to happen to people who claim to have had first-hand knowledge of the Dolce base and who claim to have came forward many of which were labeled as suicide, but not everyone is so sure. Check out the documentary called The Underground for further investigation. So what did you guys think of that video? 
Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and explore our channel for some crazy videos. We hope you enjoy.